Hello ladies and mentogen and welcome to the Idiocracy. Today I have another Minecraft build for you guys to have a look at and get some inspiration from. Uh, this is my Roman warship thing that I've built. I was very bored one day, long ago, when I actually built it. And I decided to make this. It's it's interesting. Uh, it's, it's really all I can say. It's very very interesting. Uh, we got the uh, kind of that. Well, the reason I wanted to make it early was because I liked those sh the ships that have the face on the front. That's what I was thinking about really when I decided to make it. It's like you know what those ships with faces. Those are cool looking. Let's make one of those. And so. Here's my ship with a face on it. It's got the big uh, ram here at the front. Underwater, you can see it's connected there. That was this 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 was the most difficult part of the build was getting this this curve to look to look right. I probably went through ten to fifteen different variants here to get this curve because I wanted it to be gradual. Start off uh, slightly here. Start off slightly, and then sharply curve up, and then into the the top there where the deck is. And fifteenth uh, try, obviously, I got that right. So it starts off just a block in the water slab, normal block, block with slab, block slab, and then two blocks. I don't even know how I got it. It just kind of happened, and I was really happy. And then here we got, you know, kind of that. What's it's, what's really weird with these ships is that, as you, as, as you can tell from the block, they kind of they're they're not like pointed down like that. They're pretty much the opposite. It's like an upside down boat, and then it's got the normal kind of boat shape on top. It's like a, it's a, a reversed V shape there, kind of slanting down like that. But then it has to kind of transition into back up into a normal kind of slope down. At least uh, that's how I saw it from the artwork I was using off of uh, Google. You know, I took some screenshots off my phone and I was kind of using those. And uh, then they have got this little design here. I really liked how this, this whole front bit here turned out. Simple and yet it's got, it's got a pleasing, pleasing aesthetic to it. Uh, moving back we can see we got all the rowers here. All the oars, both sides. Just off the side here. Uh, very basic, but definitely the front was the hardest bit. Uh, moving up, we have the sail here. Another thing I liked about these ships is they had some sort of nice uh, sail design. And I wanted to use the uh, the Arqueso, Arquesa, yeah, Arquesa wood here for the actual color of the ship. Also using the logs. And then I Leave yet yeah, normal look for the deck, but I wanted some uh, a color of sail, not not white, not black. So I pulled out the blue, and it looked really nice. But I felt like these ships, I know they had a, a, like a design on the sail, so I made using the the yellow here this kind of like eyeball thing. Originally it was a sun, but it turned into an eyeball, and uh, so yeah, now I've got that. Moving back from the artwork I was uh, using, they had this little like fortress mount, like tiny little castle for like you know the the emperor or whoever would be sitting here, or the commander, and then they've got like a tiny castle around them to defend them. I don't I don't know. Uh, using the artwork, I, so I made made it just because you know large, wide open space needed something to put here, and you know. Seeing this in the artwork, I was like, okay, it's there, Let's put it on. And then moving back, we have, again, another thing I, I struggled with on the ship was getting this. They have this big curved, like, d uh, design of, uh, you know, like, uh, a uh, ornamental piece. It looks like it is missing a block. There, fixed. Uh... But yeah, they have this like ornamental piece that hooks over the uh, where the driver is back here, and then again, 
you know, kind of like on the Viking ship, they have like a little tent here. So that way the, the person who's standing out here hours on end driving the boat doesn't get the sunburn or anything. But yeah, I've got this ornamental piece. This took me... When I originally built the ship, I built it like 10 blocks shorter and I didn't like it. So I extended it out. And the original piece I had here, which I liked a lot, I f couldn't make it again. So I got, But I got this, this one and it, it turned out good. I like it. But there's there's not much more on the deck. I mean, I've got like tie down for the, the sails, or for the for the mast, the single mast. But these these ships mainly were used use the rowers, and then they would ram other ships. So moving moving down in here, we have all the the seats. Usually, you'd have on these bigger ones, you'd have two guys in each seat, and you'd have the essentially these would all be uh. I want to say there'd actually be slaves, considering the time period, and it would make sense. Not 100% sure on that. It would either be soldiers or slaves who would be sitting here, and you'd have the, the guy walking up and down, you know, row, 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 or stroke, 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 you know, you know, giving the, the call for uh, to have, so everyone's in unison, uh, propelling the ship forward at a reasonable speed. And you can see that's just row upon row upon row. Uh, back here, I have what would be the kind of yeah, emperor or king quarters or whoever, you know, the higher up on the ship. Or their captain, I guess, would also be back here. Big double bed, chest, Minecraft stuff for decoration. So that, and then down in the bowels, crew quarters. Uh probably looking at it now probably not enough to actually like uh, comfortably sit everyone but especially so many rowers but storage and beds down here and that's as far down as it goes uh and yeah that is pretty much it on this one again simple extraordinarily frustrating because of all the angles. Uh, I don't know if anybody could... Yeah, well, probably a lot of people could do this a lot better than me, but... Made it. It's there. It's cool. It's interesting. Uh, I really like it. Like I said, uh, the thing I struggled with the most on these was getting these kind of nice curved angles and then kind of 3D-ing it to taper on for the the rest of the boat. But all in all, I think, you know, it, it turned out it turned out well. I really did like how it turned out. Uh again, most frustrating part ever was this curve. But I I got it where it looks looks nice. Uh got the big eyes there staring at you as it as it would come at you. Uh, the underneath here, simple, the ram, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this one. So, uh, just sign off here. One more, not one more. There we go. So, thank you for watching. If you watched it, um, if you got any creative inspiration, the uh, you're welcome, I guess, for whatever builds you m may be doing. So, considering that that's it, and the sun is setting behind us, beautiful. Thank you for watching, and I will see you, yes, you, in the next video. Goodbye.